it seems as though the MMA community has rallied around Randy Couture. And a lot of people are, you know, saying that they hope he beats you. And you would think that the boxing community would rally around you. But that doesn't seem to be the case. We talked about what David Hayes said about you, and Bernard Hopkins said that you're going to get your, your butt whipped. What do you make of that? Would you like these guys to maybe back you in this fight? No. Well, well I'm a soldier, man. I roll by myself every time. It don't matter. These guys are clowns. David Gate, he, he pretended to be a fighter, and Bernard Hopkins, man, you need to go get your teeth fixed. I let I let you want these damn diamonds, you can replace the in my mouth. I'm worried about them dudes. They come fight me. Come see me. If you got a problem with me, come see me. Like I tell you, Bells. If you got a problem with James Tony, all you gotta do is come and see me. I ain't got a problem by knocking nobody. I don't, pay, I don't care when or where. Do you think you pay me? Do you think there's something a little bit funny about the fact that they're saying that you're gonna get your butt whipped, but you're the only guy who's actually gone in there see, and signed the contract? But see, that's, they, they, they can sign the contract to fight me. I'm they talking about they, going into they can MMA. Fight me, they can fight in MMA. You know what I'm saying? These guys are clowns, man. I'm saying I don't play the guy. I'm not even gonna talk about these guys anymore because they're not even worth it. My main, my main concern right now is Randy Couture. His MMA is great. I'm boxing great. We're gonna see who's, who's number one. Sim Sam Pop. You feel me, Pop? Absolutely. Just a couple. This guy's guy a clown right here. Let me get off the mic. That's the rule number one. I'll That's get rule number one. Give me the gun. I gotta hold on to the mic. Right. This is James Tony reporting for this goddamn station, whatever it is. I'm out of here. No, wait, wait, we're not done. I still got a couple more questions. One question, one question about Dana White. First, you said you were going to knock him out, but now, yesterday at the press conference, it seems as though you actually like him. There you go. There you go. With you go ask Dana White this. One more question, James. One more question. One more question, James. One more question before I let you go. One more question, James. I'll start with yourself. Uh, many are wondering how did that happen? This meeting with with the mayor. I have no idea. It's my fault again. <laughs> no, at the end of the day, he is the mayor of the city. Mike Tyson is here to promote the first ever performance in Canada. And when I had Sugar Ray Leonard come to Montreal to launch the book, we went to the mayor's office. We're here. It's an habit. We go see and the mayor. And this is the first time probably in the history of Toronto where the mayor is bigger than the whole, the whole city. You know, he's the biggest celebrity than anybody in the city. Everybody wants to see the mayor. And um, he's a really uh, dynamic character. Right, so did you, you read up on him? You sort of would follow no, him? No, I didn't read up on him. I watched him on television. Right. You know, in the States, In yeah. the States, and, you know, he's a big, oh, he's a big hit in the States. He's a big hit. Now, well, some of your critics would say, you know, there's a race for mayor. We know you're a convicted rapist. This could hurt his campaign. How would you respond to that? Hey, um, I don't know who said that. You don't even want to hear say that. You know what I mean? And I don't have no comment to that, you know, because it's negative and you're being negative. And I, 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 met, I met the mayor right. and nothing they can do about it. We actually had a really good time. We, we, we talked about George Chevallo, who's a legend in your city, great man with whom Mike spent quite a bit of time yesterday talking about his Life, highs and lows. It's so interesting that you come across like a nice guy, but you're really a piece of shit. Hey, with that come comment. on, come on. No, that was a piece of f you. That was a piece of shit. You know, we're, we're, doing, we're doing live TV. Hey, now. I don't care. What are you going to do about it? All right, you got a, you got a show that you're doing tonight. We are. You know, a lot of people we are. are where it comes there. raw and it's the real truth. Yeah, a lot of people will be there to see your show. Just tell us a bit about it. Um, it's a, you know, it speaks for itself. Everyone saw the show. All right. It's a Broadway production. It went to Vegas. It went to actually 28 cities in the United States. And we're really, really proud to bring it here. And we're actually going to Monaco on October 9th. We're going to be in Monte Carlo. Right. Is it nerve-wracking for you to do something like this, or is it more nervous for you to box? How does it compare? I don't know. Um, it's more nerve-wracking for me to hear talking to a rat piece of shit like oh, you. come on, Mike. Not because you're a piece of shit. All right, we're gonna we're gonna we're, we're gonna we're gonna wrap up this interview. Thank you for thank you for coming in. Thank you. We welcome into Sports Center the former number one pound for pound fighter in the world, Floyd Mayweather. Floyd, welcome back. We've missed you, Floyd. Hey, how you doing? I'm not no former number one pound for pound fighter. I'm I'm just saying I'm the best fighter in in the sport of boxing. No one has dethroned me. So how am I not pound for pound the best fighter in the world? You tell me. Because you retired. Oh, uh, what? The, but ha have I ever been beat? But what happens is you informed Ring Magazine well, you were retired again, already, as already, already champion. Forgot, I already forgot who I'm talking to. I'm <laughs> talking to Brian Kenny, a guy who's <laughs> never laced up gloves a day in his life, who don't know nothing about boxing. I'm saying, if you, you, Floyd, you always come back and you face the best. And I give you credit for that. When you moved up to lightweight, you faced uh, Jose Luis Castillo right away. But why not face the guy that won the Pacquiao-Marquez fight? 
Well, like I said before, Oscar De La Hoya is doing one hell of a job. We got Mayweather promotions. What does the that past, have to do with what I just asked? It's, it's the past, the present, and the future of, of, of sports and sports and entertainment. And I think that Leonard Ellaby and Al Heyman is doing a hell of a job as my advisors. Why not face the winner of the Pacquiao Marquez fight? I just answered your question. No, you didn't. I must have missed it. What are you talking well, about? I said Al Heyman and Leonard Ellaby are my advisors, and they've done one hell of a job with Floyd Mayweather's career. So they didn't want you to face Pacquiao right away? I'm not, I'm not ducking and dodging nobody. You know, what, you know what it is. No, what is it? Is Bob Arum? I, I, got, I got a list. Whenever it, it, happen, it happens, is it happens. Is it because Pacquiao's promoter is Bob Arum? Is that right, the reason? Well, you, well, you got to talk to Bob Arum, not me. I ain't going to speak on, I don't got nothing to say about Bob Aaron. But if you're the cash king, you can make the call. If you come back and say, I want Manny Pacquiao, that fight had happened, Floyd. Once again, Bob Aaron is Manny Pacquiao's boss. Floyd Mayweather is his own boss. Now, if fans out there don't like me, that's too goddamn bad. Because after August 28th, y'all really ain't going to like me because I'm going to destroy y'all so-called legend. A guy with 12 losses is a legend. Ain't that a b uh, obviously, he is a legend. He's one of the greatest. No, 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 obviously, you're you 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 a Couture fan, right? No, I am not. You, you must be. Cause you're I'm neutral. I'm, 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 he's the, well, he's in the UFC Hall of Fame. He's won multiple titles in different weight classes. See, see that's why that's why y'all sport is so messed up. You hey, like boxing, NFL, NBA. You have to retire for five four, five years to be considered a Hall of Fame. This guy has never retired. He's already in the Hall of Fame. Y'all got, this but you know what? I'm gonna clean it up. Well, I don't know if we want to get into a boxing versus MMA debate because we can do that if you want to because you're going to lose, uh, man. You're going to lose. You're going to lose, period. August you're saying boxing is better than MMA. All day. I'm telling you that right now. What you want to do about it? I, I don't uh, represent the sport. Uh, August 20th, find out. Thank you. But James, one more question for you, if you don't mind. Um, you are obviously facing uh, Randy Couture. I guess you have no more. But I got questions about the game plan, James. This is the spot right here. This is where we're doing the interview, my man. Floyd, Juan Manuel Marquez is an excellent fighter, but he's the lightweight champion of the world. Why pick a guy two weight classes lighter oh, than here, you? Oh, here we go again. So here we go again with this. Now You were the now, welterweight I, champ. I, I, no, this I'm, guy's I'm, the lightweight I'm, champ. I'm glad. I'm glad. I was waiting for you to say that. So Floyd Mayweather is in his 30s. Oscar De La Hoya is in his 30s. They meet up and fight. When we meet up and fight, when Oscar De La Hoya and Floyd Mayweather meet up and fight, and, and, and I beat him, but we both in our 30s, they say he's over the hill. But then... When Pacquiao fights him, they say, oh, this is the greatest thing we ever seen. So then when I fight Hatton, they say I'm too big for Hatton. But then they say, no, Pacquiao. You got, nobody no, said no, that. No, you no. got full credit for both of those wins, Floyd. No, no, That's no, why you became no, a superstar. No, I did not. Yes, no, you I did. did not. No, sure I did not. Sure you did. From are me, you gonna, are I you gave you full credit. Piece? If you're talking am, to me now, am I, gonna speak I gave my you piece? full credit for that. Am I going to speak my piece or not? Go am ahead. I going to speak my piece or not? Go ahead. Okay, because you want to interview me. I ain't interviewing you. You want to talk to me. I don't want. I don't worry about talking to you. You want to talk to me. go ahead. I'm waiting on you. Is there a possible question for you too? You had mentioned to Gervonta that God keeps me calm. You guys kind of laughed about it. I just wanted, no, you did not say that. And I just want to know what's so funny about that. No, no. I said I'll tell you the exact situation. He, it's it's uh, he he started saying all that stuff because he's the one. I quote. He said, "You say you're such a good person, but you're doing all these other things." And then he mentioned, "Oh, he's out there gambling and stuff." And I said, "Well, he said before in an interview, poker calms him down." That kind of statement causes a lot of confusion to people because a lot of people, you know, they're so on the fence of believing in God and what that really means. You know, when you come to God, it's not you're coming to praise him because you're perfect. You're coming to praise him because you're understanding you are imperfect. And those things that he even claimed, it just shows me he hasn't done much searching on what God really is. Because if you understood it, you would know the things that he says in itself. Drinking is not even a sin. Getting drunk is. Right over here, I have a seat right next to him. I'm trying to be nice to you, but you... James, a good friend of yours, David Hayes, says you're delusional for fighting in MMA. Hayes, a mama boy. He's gay. Okay. Um, is that, yeah, is that the fight that you're... That you, is, this, is it Randy, then David? It could be Randy, David, or the bitch girl sisters. It don't, it don't even matter, man, because, you know, like I said, if David, if he do, he could have he fought me by now. We could have fought October 10th, but he decided to fight for Lee Harrison. But you know, like I said, I've been, I'm not even thinking about him. You know, if, if he got to go out of his way to talk about James Tony, damn, something wrong with him. Okay, my let's. Mind, my mind's on Randy Couture. He's a great fighter. I ain't got no, I ain't got no animosity towards Randy Couture. He's a great fighter in the sport. But come August 20th, it's just totally bitten. So I'm gonna kick his ass. Are you carrying around a doll of Randy Couture? I saw you holding something earlier. You want, you want to take home with you? 
No, no, I just want to see it because I'm not sure if it was Randy or if it was someone else. Was he mad? Oh, he I can just hear Randy to a friend. He upset about this shit. I'm, I'm very offended over the uh, the potential of you messing with Randy Couture's doll. If it is Randy Couture's action figure, is it? Oh, look at that. Looks like he's got a purse and a dress. That is Randy. Now, this is, have you been, you know, practicing your, your maneuvers on this doll, or is this just to sort of make fun of him? Ooh, that's, that's a good one. <laughs> so, De La Hoya wasn't big, bigger than Pacquiao when he fought him? No, you, you got full credit for beating De La Hoya. Answer the question. You deserve that. You moved Answer up. Answer the question. Did, did, did they or did they not say De La Hoya was too big for Pacquiao? Yes. Did they, okay, yes. then. And they're did, wrong, because did, Pacquiao was that great. Didn't I come from, didn't I come from 125 pounds all the way to 154 pounds? Yes, you Answer did. Answer the question. Yes, you did. Okay, then. All right. So, so, I was a, so I was a small, so, so answer the question so right now. I did, I just answered the question. I gotta got ask you another question. Go ahead. Have Pacquiao been knocked out twice? Answer the question. Yeah, when he was like 112 I, I don't, pounds. Not, just answer the question. Because he turned yes pro when no. he was a teenager. Did Pacquiao been knocked, have he been knocked out twice? Yeah, a de like a decade answer ago. Answer the question. A decade ago. And just answer, I, ain't, I, don't, I don't care if it was 100 years ago. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Have Pacquiao been outboxed by Eric Morales? What, one fight he lost to him, Answer yeah. the question. Yes, he did. Has he been outboxed by Eric Morales? Yes. That's all I need to know. So why would you fight I him? Ask you why, so why not fight him now, right now, away? Now I want to ask if you another question. If he's that easy. Now I want to ask you another question. Go ahead. Who's beating me? Nobody's beating you yet, That's all Floyd. I want to know. So why pick a guy two weight classes that's, lighter? That's all I want to know. Why don't you well, answer Pacquiao one question for me? You're, you're picking on the lightweight so champ. You were the welterweight champ. That's two weight him. classes lighter. Why go, not go after go a guy like look. Shane Mosley? He Shane Mosley is the champ in your weight class. Lots of guys call you out, Floyd. He called me out. Why not go after Shane Mosley, who is the champ in me. your weight class right now? Why not Shane Mosley? Once again, like I said before, I don't fight for bragging rights. I don't fight for bragging rights. I prove myself. So when you told the story, for example, about being in Miami and kicking Don King in the head and having a brick of cocaine, that seems crazy to me. Well, that's what it was. Can you describe, uh, Mike, what your cocaine addiction was like? No, you can read about it in the book, though. Is there anything that was embarrassing to you, or is it well, pre something yeah, that pretty much all, pretty much a, a great deal of the book was, but um, that was the book. I, he wanted the truth. I gave him the truth. What would you describe as the happiest time in your life, Mike? Um, I don't remember. Would you say you're more comfortable in your own skin now than you were uh, when you were heavyweight champion? Of course I am. I don't have the pressure that I did when I was heavyweight champ, but I have my days like everyone else. You feel relief, though? Do you, ref you feel relief later in life to be unburdened from that? Pretty much so, yes. Do you ever worry that you're being used for how open you can be about the things you've done in your life? I don't know. You don't want to give, um, I'm doing the interview. You tell me. That's what I'm asking, because that's kind of a dilemma sometimes with dealing no, with somebody is how much is asking and how much is using. I don't know. Everyone knows me. Like I said before, I'm pretty transparent and stuff, so I figure everyone see who I am anyway. I don't look at the world as if I'm a block wall and no one can see through me. But it feels like this particular process, this feels a little bit uncomfortable and that we're poking at you for book sales and that we're poking and poking, asking you questions. I, I, don't, think, I, don't, I don't think you're poking at me. Do you feel that you're poking at me? No, yeah, well, a little bit. I feel like this, this whole process is not something, you've done it for so long that it's something that's less than enjoyable to you. The idea that we would sit here and in order to sell the book, we continue to ask you questions that you may or may not want to answer. I don't know, I'm asking you everything you tell me. Everything you say, I'm answering them. I'm not avoiding any of your questions. Do you figure that I'm avoiding anything, sir? No, no, not at all. I, I, but, I, but I'm not sure that you're enjoying it either. I'm, I've been working all day for three or four days. I'm really tired, and if I'm, if I'm offending you, I'm sorry. I'm just no. really exhausted. I'm sorry. Forgive me. No. Did you enjoy being on stage for the one-man show? Yeah, that's what I live to do, to entertain people. Mike, you happy now? You happy? Happier? Well, I'm, I'm cool. You know, I'm not no perpetual happy guy. I'm not happy um, for 24 hours a day, every second of the moment. I'm happy. Hee <laughs> hee ha ha. But um, I'm cool. I'm, you know. I feel it, bro. You can't feel the power. You can't feel this energy. Oh my goodness. Radio right here. Oh my goodness. You, you said that your people have been fighting for 400. Come on, man. Your people's too. So I just want you to explain. Your people's what you mean too. By that. You know what I'm talking about. Y'all all know what I'm talking about, man. Don't sit up here and try to bait. 
and not know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what the fuck I talk about when I say these things. Your people too. Explain it. I, I ain't got to explain what's understood. About. Radio Raheem, I don't have to explain what's understood, man. You know what I mean by that. You know what I said by that. I ain't got to go further. And if nobody, if anybody don't understand that, then God be with them. Go look up the history. Go look up the history. Shit, ain't, don't everybody believe in Google? Go Google that shit. See what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about, man. You know what? I dare you to sit up there and say, he's explaining. You know what I'm talking about, man. He's fighting people. You know we've been fighting 400 and still fighting to this day. To this day. To this day. You just sit here and you don't know what I'm talking about? <sighs> man, I'm out of here, bro. Let's go. Let's go, man. So why not fight Shane Mosley, who is the welterweight champion of the world right who, now? Who, who, Shane Mosley, who got five losses? That's the one you're talking about? Shane Mosley, the guy who totally dismantled Antonio Margarito. Oh, uh, 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 and he beat, and he, well, he beat Cotto, and, and Cotto beat him? All these guys beating each other, but he, nobody has beat Floyd Mayweather. He's the champ right now. How many, do, answer the question. He's the champ right now. He's I, the I champ in your old weight a, class, A belt Floyd. don't make me. A belt don't make me. But he's a champ in your weight class. A you're going after a, a guy two weight classes lighter. A, 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 guy, a great a, fighter. He's a great Shane, fighter, Floyd. You're right. Shane Mosley is the only, only guy I know. Guess what? He's not a pay-per-view attraction. Floyd Shane Mayweather Mosley's is a not? Absolutely not. Compared to Juan Manuel Marquez? A absolutely not. You, don't, you think Marquez is a bigger draw than Shane Mosley? He got a, whole, he got a country behind him. A country. A country. Shane Mosley and we, and be a we know, hot, and we, hot and fight, and we, and we know Mexicans been dominate. We know Mexicans and, and black fighters has been dominating for years. And you always get your biggest fights when you match the two together. And Floyd, you know that. Floyd, if you get past Juan Manuel Marquez, who would you like next? It doesn't matter. It, it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. All right, can I suggest somebody? You can't. Hey, listen, you're not a promoter. You, work, you, work <laughs> you said for it doesn't ESPN. matter. If it doesn't, it doesn't matter, matter, I'll I'm suggest saying, somebody. Uh, you, you can suggest whoever you want, but guess what? Only thing you do is you sit back and you interview me. I didn't ask it. I, listen, you called me to do the interview. I didn't call you. No, you're on a satellite tour. But, but I didn't call you're you. You're on tour. But still, but I didn't I call you. Up. I didn't call you. <laughs> Floyd, I enjoy talking to you. I'm you. Who do you like want to fight before, next, Floyd? Like I said before, you are, you are a man of you are, you are a man of many things, but you're a master of nothing. <laughs> the fight was offered to James, two legends. They said, let's do it. What are you talking about? Hold on, bro. Are you talking about legend? I'm the only legend up here. Hey, you see this sign right here? World Heavyweight Champion right now. Not no hands being, not no 49-year-old guy who's trying to fight. I'm the real deal right here. The real motherfucking deal. So what are you trying to say? Well, what I'm saying is that there are three... Can you box? No, Have no. you ever boxed? No. But well, why do you know so much about boxing? <laughs> <laughs> you got a good television. You have a good television show, listen, and you good listen, script man. Listen. But won't you stay out of the ring? Listen, if you if you applied that to everybody, nobody would go and watch you fight. I mean, is it necessary for me to watch you and admire no, you? No, they come and to watch me fight because they don't know how to fight, and they never could be fighters. And they admit and they submit to the best, and they come to see. You. Now you're an expert on it. No, they I'm don't not. all try to be experts on boxing. You know about the number 10th man, the number 4th man, the number 3rd man, and all of this and the gap and all of that. You've never been in the ring. It's hard. It's not easy. The man is ranked number 4 in the world. You trying to tell me he don't deserve that spot at being number 4? You trying to tell no, me he can't I'm, beat the number 10th man? What I'm saying it, is he can't beat number 3, 2, and 1. That's what I'm saying. Well, so that's right. Well, nothing wrong with that. Well, but if you, He's not such a bad man. If he, I'm the champion and can't none of them beat me. That don't mean they're nothing. He's the number fourth man. He's young. He's getting better and better. A few years ago, Buckner was a kid coming around the gymnasium sparring with me. All of a sudden, now Buckner's the fourth ranked man in the world. Hell, I'm getting old. I might soon drop out. George and Frazier took a heck of a pound, and he can't take that much more. Former might just get disgusted and quit from what I'm hearing. Buckner might soon be the next man ranked number two and then for title shot. We don't never know. Let him grow. You, just, you won't let the man even grow. Who, have you always been on this television show? You was a little old hustler running around before you came up here one day. <laughs> now look at you. Uh, so somebody told you. So somebody told you. So somebody told you. Well, well, Didn't well, I tell well, you you'll never be nothing? And you're not as good as David Susskind? Or you're not as good as Eamon Andrews? Or you can't make it like <laughs> Harry Carpenter? Anybody ever tell you that? Now look at you. You about number one man around here, but you had to work up. You destroying the man and talking about him and taking down for it. But see, people like you are good. It's people like you that make Joe Bugner train hard. Because one day, Carol Harrod, handsome Joe Bugner is going to be the champion, and you're going to be Joe, but you come on my show. <laughs>
I seem to be occupying my job, though. Yeah, as you often say, you're just a guy with a job. I have a job, though. So who would you fight what, next? And guess what? And guess what? Your job don't pay like my job. Well, it depends. Your job well, don't pay like my job. That brings me to another point. Do I you know, need I know, to, I, you, I, why I, are I mean, you coming back? Two, I, I can make 200 million in 18 months because I want to, because I want to come back and steal some more money. Is that okay with you? <laughs> it's fine. Okay, I enjoy then. watching your fights. Okay. Who might be next? It doesn't matter. All right. How about Manny Pacquiao? It do, if he wanted, he can get it. Okay. Could you do a deal with Bob Arum then? Well, we, we already know we got me and Bob Arum has, has a problem, and we, has a, we have an issue. So that's going to be hard to make. If Pacquiao wanted, he can get it. You know that. Whoever wanted, they can get it. Well, you didn't give him a chance this time because you what announced you your fight the, mor- the morning I've, of the I've, fight. I've, you announced never, your fight. I've never ducked a dodge, no opponent. So stop. So stop. So stop. A guy won a couple fights. You wasn't saying that when he, when, he got his, when he got his ass kicked by Eric Morales. You wasn't saying that. You wasn't saying put him in there with Floyd Mayweather. Now all of a sudden he got a couple wins. Now you said throw him in there with Floyd Mayweather. Yes, he, I do, because he, he's he earned do the right. He fought the last two guys you fought, and he did a, a quicker job on both of them. So, so what that mean? So, so, so that means match ha- him up. So hadn't done a hadn't done a hadn't done a quicker job with Castillo. And, and guess what? And what happened with Manhattan? Okay now, then. Well, yeah, at that point Castillo wasn't the same you fighter. Can, the listen, same thing listen, you claim listen. it for Hatton for you Pacquiao. You can hope. You can hope, and you, they pray and pray on my downfall. You can't go against guys where what God wants to be is going to happen. Period. You continue to keep calling me and asking me for interviews, and I'm going to come back to the sport of boxing and continue to dominate. Floyd, I'm glad to see you back. I truly am. It's good talking with you, and we'll talk Absolutely. to you again before the fight. July 18th, Juan Manuel Marquez, the and, lightweight and, and, champion and of the world. And be alive, because like, like I said before, I've been dominating the sport for I don't know how many years. And I had to ask you another question. What was Pacquiao in 97, 98, 99? 2000 it's 105 pounds. What, but what, what was his name at? Was he, was he rec- This I'm in a whole new era dominating fighters. That's right, fighters. and he's a whole new fighter, Floyd. A whole new fighter. Oh, yeah. And, 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 so, and, 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 when, and when I beat him, what are they going to say? Oh, well, we knew this was going to happen. Floyd Mayweather was the bigger fighter, or he could outbox him, or this. It's always excuses. Full credit to you if you beat him, Floyd, and for Marquez, too who's a true lightweight champion. And Marquez beat him twice for real, and yeah, you know I, that. I, I, thought he out, I thought he outpointed him the second time he around. Beat him, he beat him both times, and you know that. Uh, no, I don't know that. Uh, the second time, I think he beat him. Floyd, good talking to you. We'll see you again. I mean, there's, there's, don't point at me. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's something that... <laughs> see, we cut black folks don't like white folks pointing at me. But it's all right for you to point at me. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> but they... But why, 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 why do you say that? I mean, do you mean that? Say what? The, the, you black folks don't no, like white folks. No, I'm joking. You're joking. Yeah, that's good. Thank you. you feel that disappointment that the fans felt that maybe you didn't get the best Manny Pacquiao that night? Uh, we're not going to do that. We're not going to talk about that. You was one of the guys that believed in Pacquiao. I did. Okay. So now we don't want you to back out the block. And I told you before, that was easy work. So, if you believe in Pacquiao, you need to go back and say, you need to sit down and do a story and say, you know what, I believe in Pacquiao, and it's his fault. It's not Mayweather's fault because Mayweather did what he always do, be a calculated fighter, be a smart fighter, and find a way to win. And I did that because I said that although there was a problem with the shoulder, whether it existed or not, I always said there was no... Oh, there, there was you go, there Wait, you go, wait, wait. No, go, hold on, hold on. I said there was no problem don't, with don't his legs. There was no problem b- with his heart. Don't have me doing these b- interviews. Oh, right come now. on. If, if you're telling me to justify I'm telling you what I said on the air. That whether it existed so, or I'm not. i ask you a question. Okay, go ahead. In a way, did he raise his arms high? In the what? In a way, was he putting his arms up? Yes, he was. After the fight, was he putting his arms up? Of course. Up? That's went, why I said. When he went back to the corner, did they massage his arm? Anytime. Didn't see that. Okay, then. So you really believe his arm was messed up? No, what did I say? I said whether it existed or not, but nothing I'm, I'm was wrong with his question. heart, nothing I'm, was wrong with his legs, I'm and a, that's to you I'm going to ask you a question. Do you really believe his arm was messed up? He's all right now, right? You don't believe <laughs> it. Okay. That's good. So, but what, it's, it's always but an excuse. But did I give you your credit? You I gave you your credit. Okay, I, be, I guess I'll be the hurt fighter. La- ladies and no, gentlemen, no, no. I guess I'll be the hurt fighter. No, I gave you your credit. And that's what, that's what you wanted, right? That was what that fight was about. I don't want my credit. I don't have to. Because I told, I told you and the rest of the critics, he was, I mean, he's a hell of a fighter. I don't take that away from him. But it's more like you got A-level, you got, he's an A-level, he's an A-level fighter. He's just not in the Mayweather League. 
You got A-level fighters. You got B-level. Canelo's an A-level fighter. Pacquiao's an A-level. Cotto's an A-level. Those are the top guys, right? De La Hoya. Okay. So, put you, there. so De La Hoya, so you know what I did to all those guys. I do. Okay. Okay. For the record. Okay. And what about Berto? Is he an A-level fighter? Um... I just feel like he's a tough competitor. A level far as being able to market him and, and, and can he be a household name? Probably in due time, but right now, he's a B level fighter. Probably a B minus. I mean, Canelo can do, I mean, we know Canelo can do, he has a country behind him. Pacquiao has a country behind him. Uh, uh, De La Hoya has the Mexican American. And Cotto has a country behind him. You know, I just don't think. He has the support from the Haitians, and he, had, and, he, and he went about it. He didn't go about it the right way. You have to have a game plan. But as far as in boxing, he's probably a, a B minus. So is this the way you're going out? This is it for you? Like that's, that's the way you're going out with, with Andre Berto? Absolutely. I beat everybody I had to beat. And he's a tough competitor. He's a guy that I know I cannot, I cannot overlook. Amir Khan was a two-time world champion. Berto was a two-time world champion. Amir Khan got three losses. Berto has three losses. But once again, it don't matter who Floyd Mayweather face. It don't matter who Floyd Mayweather fight. It's always going to be an excuse. Give me my props. I'm just the best. And all, you know, a lot of people are saying that I'm not in shape for my fights. But, like, how much more shape do I have to be in? I'm still unscratched. I'm prettier than you, and you're a sports announcer. I know I'm prettier than you. If you look at me and look at you, I look better than you. And I had about nine fights in the Navy. Well, you must have been pretty good because I don't see no marks on you. Nothing. Well, I don't see many marks on you either. Uh, well, I am pretty good. You, you call Fraser all kinds of awful things. You call him a dumb uh, You say you've got no... Well, you said something like that. Uh, you you said that. No, you, you said something like that. You, you called me a n***. <laughs> you're a public figure and you're one of those public figures who... Did you say n***? No, I said that. <laughs> I said a public oh, figure. I thought you. I thought. I thought. I thought you said you're a public name. You've said things in the past which people have found abhorrent. They've accused you of misogyny. They've accused you of homophobia. No comment. Don't even go there. But do you accept that you've got to win over a larger number of people coming back this time before you can be fully accepted? No comment. You don't want to say anything about that at all? No comment. People won't like that if they hear you no commenting? No comment. Okay. I'm a boxer. I'm not interested in politics or anything else. Boxing only, thank you. UKAD have upheld the... No comment. You don't want to talk about the Nandalone thing? No comment. The question that Boxing, we asked... Boxing, please. Is Terminated. It... You don't want to talk about it, though.